What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to my Resident Evil 4 playthrough. We're here in the beginning of the game at the first shooting range. You can see I have pretty much all the charms that you can have. Uh, because I cheated the gold coins, I wanted to find out, can you get the same charms multiple times, right? The answer is yes. You can see here I have multiple ones of the same. Now, I'm going to show you how you can cheat them yourself in case you want to. I personally will go back to my other uh, safe game without the cheats afterwards. But um, here's how it works. I have here a program called uh, Running called Art Money. Uh, I'll include a link to the download in the download section or the video description for you where you can get it. Um, it's a memory hack. You basically just search for a value, for example, if you have six coins, and then you filter the value after you spent them. And in the end, you get one value, and this is the value for your coins. You can enter 500, and you will have 500 coins at the end. Um, so let's go and first clear this. Once you've downloaded the program, you basically start it up. Here you search. Um, or at first, I probably should should uh, reload uh, the safe, uh, the normal, the normal game. I'm loading it up now, um, and uh, in by loading this, my previously loaded values are gone. Right? It will no longer work because uh, when you load it, you will basically, um, you know, uh, load everything back into your RAM, and it changes everything. So we're coming out here. I have already completed the shooting range. I have six of these uh, golden coins, as you can see, gold tokens. Now, uh, you should have at least, I would say, five of them. That was not correct. The number you need is four, and then you can make it happen. We found this out right here. Let's get back into the live try. Um, a little tip, just by the way, because it took me a while to figure this out. When you do the one to the right, uh, this first um, death skull is here. One, two, and there it is. Okay, just so you know, uh, because that took me a long time to figure this out. Now, let's go up here and uh, cheat the values. So, we have six, as you can see, those are the numbers we've got. Shut up, dude. So, um, we're gonna go... Uh, did I just throw one in? No, okay. So, I'm gonna start the program basically, and what you do, you select the process, in this case Resident Evil 4, and then you type in the number, you go for type all, standard, and you type in exact value how much you have. I have six, so, sorry, I just type in six and I let it run. Now, this is going to run for a while, um, although we are here on uh, pretty much the latest gaming hardware, uh, there is just a lot of stuff that needs to be searched. We're going with 260 megabytes per second, Chances are your PC may take longer for this to, to happen. If you do this in 10 years, though, it will be probably a lot faster. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And uh, once this is finished, let me just skip right through for you. Alright, so it took about two minutes to finish this whole thing. Um, just a few things about this hack, right? You can, with this, you can hack very, so many of your single player games. I would not recommend using it online because typically pretty much any anti-cheat software will pick it up. It's very basic. Um, and also for some games online, you might be able to change the visual, visual number of a currency. But once you try to use that currency to purchase something, um, then when it's connected to their base server somewhere in the H HQ, they will figure the our system will figure out you don't actually have this much of the currency and the purchase can't be made. Just don't use it for anything m multiplayer. Just go for your single player games and you can hack most of them, or a lot of them anyways. Um, so, we've just searched for the value 6. That's the amount of gold coins I have currently. So, now I'm spending one of them, and so that the new number I have is 5. Um, and that's why I'm telling you, you need to have at least four, probably, because you need to be able to filter it a few times. I used one, we're entering five, boom. Now it's going very quickly, I don't have to speed this part up, uh, because we are just filtering the new number five out of all the millions of previously found uh, results and numbers uh, and values uh, that, uh, you know, that we, that we found with the number six before. So, I'm using another one, and I found out I always get the same order of things. Like, no matter what I change now, we'll always get this. I can throw in three golden ones, and I will still get a gold one next. And I, um, yeah, it's, it, it will not change. But now we have only four, because I used two of them, right? So, filtering, again, goes pretty quickly. Now we're using one again. It's gonna be three after. And, uh, and then the results should already be pretty clear. You can see how many we need. Um, so there's this next golden one. I told you it was gonna be a gold one. I, I knew this. So now it's three. And this is already good enough. So you need three, I guess. You need at least three, it looks like. Um, and um, so we're gonna... Because if you have two or three values, you can take it. You can select them both. Put them over here. Select both of them. Enter the number 500. And 
click freeze. Okay, boom. Now you go in here and uh, press F and boop, you have 500 and they're even frozen. Like, even if I use them, they will stay 500 all the time. As long as I don't unfreeze. And you see, even throwing in three golden ones will not even give you um, a golden, uh, golden thing. And this is how you can basically open as many and forever um, and you can get the same charm a hundred times if you want it doesn't matter right so yeah this is um, the little hack that I wanted to show you and uh, yeah I'm like, like I said I'm not going to actually use this hack now because uh, I will be reverting back to my original uh, safe game because I want to have a clean playthrough and uh, I will try to 100% the game or at least as much as I can um, and uh, without you know, making use of methods like this. I was just curious, can you get the same charms multiple times? And the answer is yes, you can. So, now you know how to do it. Uh, check out the video description pinned comment for, um, for the download link of this program called Art Money SE Edition. You can also find it yourself. You don't really need my download link for it. Just type it into Google and you'll find it instantly. And um, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward, easy to use program. You, you, you select the process here and then you start searching in the top left button. Use standard and all. Type in your values, works with so many games, most of them. Um, and then uh, after you found it, uh, you'll spend something or change the number in the game by spending some of that resource or by getting some more of it. And then you fill to the new value and you do this a few times, two, three times, four times. And then at the end, you come out usually with like two or one number. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then you just freeze it, set it to a number you like and finish. And by the way, now you can uh, also edit here. You can unfreeze it if you want. And it will now stay at 500, but only mm, for as long as I don't use it. Because I've unfrozen it, so if you see now, uh, I go to it, now it will say Force 97. Because we have uh, we have no longer frozen the value. It's pretty straightforward. So yeah, have fun with it, ladies and gentlemen. I go back to the original playthrough now, and if you like the content, then hey, st stay with me. And watch it together with me, and make even a few suggestions if you want to. So thanks for watching, have a good one, and catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Money Gaming, signing off.